Hello, Russ of Aquarimax here. It is time for an unboxing. This package here was sent by Dan and Eric. So thanks to Dan and Eric for sending this. They actually don't live all that far away from me. About an hour and a half drive, but with COVID-19, not to mention expenses for gas, for travel and so on, this seemed the most sensible way to do this. I won't spoil the surprise too much by telling you exactly what's in here, but it is stuff that can be obtained in my state and obtained locally, but they've had a lot of uh, luck in their area with this particular, these particular items. So we're gonna check it out. Cool. Can you see what we've got here? There is one velvet ant in the shot and there should be some others in here so I'll play with that in just a minute. Uh, but they said there was something else that they had done and there may be some other containers in here. We'll put a, a nice cool pack in there which is still cool. Help keep them safe. They printed a 3D habitat structure and then put sand on it. That is so cool. They were telling me about this. So that the uh, Ants have a little hide structure. That's pretty cool. I like it. it what it reminds me of is uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, shelters or the homes on Tatooine in the Star Wars movies. That's what it reminds me of. That is really cool. I like that. And it looks like they have a couple of different chambers they can retire to as well as this main chamber. So that's very cool. And that was really nice of you to include that. I didn't uh, didn't pay for this, and so this is a total surprise gift, which I, I'm really grateful for. That is awesome. So thank you, Dan and Eric, uh, for sending that. And now let's uh, finish unboxing these velvet ants. All right, now I have a larger deli cup into which I can place this. For those of you who may not know, velvet ants, although they're not particularly aggressive, do have quite an intense sting, so it's not something you want to mess with. That is a really pretty red color. I like that. I don't think that is Dazimutilla bioculata. I'm not sure which species that is, but it is Dazimutilla um, of some kind. And that one may be the orange one. Oop, I better be careful there. Um, that orange one may be Dazimutilla vestita. Not sure, it doesn't look exactly like mine. The thing is, um, velvet ants are very, similar to each other. There are many not very closely related species that are similar to each other because they participate in a Mullerian mimicry ring, which basically means that they mimic each other uh, so that they can benefit from the aposematic coloration that warns off predators. So, all right, so I had a little bit of a technical difficulty and had to pause the video due to storage space concerns, being very careful not to uh, squeeze a velvet ant. I don't voluntarily free handle the velvet ants. I have had them crawl on me a couple of times when I'm doing things, but it's never resulted in any harm. The only time I've ever been stung by a velvet ant was when I was a uh, young kid and picked one up and was not very gentle with it, didn't know quite what it was, and it stung me. So I'm just being very careful see what we've got here and don't want to miss this little guy little gal I should say because all wingless velvet ants like these are females and we see we're starting to lose one they can climb plastic so I've got it on a surface that makes it easy to recover if I need to but I'm gonna coax this little one back in here carefully hopefully without upsetting her. There we go. Fortunately a fall like that won't hurt them at all. They have a very resilient exoskeleton. But uh, yeah, all of these are females of course. They don't have the wings that the males have. And just as I requested, I got two red velvet ants and one orange one. Perfect. So I'm not sure what the species are. Like I said, I'm going to uh, let my cousin know. He's the one who's a specialist in uh, velvet ants and other solitary bees and wasps and he should be able to give me some pretty good information on that uh, but they're beautiful and I'll put them in with my other two one that was sent to me by bugs in cyberspace 
and one that I collected last uh, summer. So very excited about this. I wanted to thank Dan and Eric, and I think Dan's brother helped with the creation of the 3D printed shelter, if I uh, remember correctly. I also want to thank all of our Patreon backers. We really depend upon your help, uh, especially in times like these, to uh, keep the channel going. So really appreciate you and everyone who contributes to the channel in whatever way it is, whether it's purchasing things from Aquarimax, whether it's uh, just watching the videos, whether it's the affiliate links, whatever it is, it's all appreciated. And let's go get these guys into, I should say, let's go get these girls into their enclosure. All right, let's put the velvet ants in their new enclosure. I'm going to put the structure, the little shelter structure down here. And I'm not sure where I'm going to place it permanently, but I'm just going to kind of nestle it down here so it's there. And then I'll decide exactly about its placement. Did you want to open the lid? Okay. My daughter's here helping me. And thank you. All right, here we go. I love these, these gorgeous ants. And I'm really excited to have a nice group of them in here. I think about five or six ants is a good uh, number to have in this enclosure. And I've got a good variety because I've got at least, this one's really sticking. They, they do that sometimes. Like I said, they have a really resilient exoskeleton, so that's not going to harm it at all to do that. Um, interested to have so many different colors. I've got, I think, one, two, uh, probably four different species in here and five different ants. So the variety in appearance and color and activity levels will really make this exciting. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again to Dan and Eric for sending these. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.